Well, that's annoying. Got an accord here, and as you can see, this uh, sunglass holder won't stay up. So let's go ahead and get this thing fixed. Now, the problem with this one is it'll stay up for a little while, and as soon as you hit a bump or something, it just pops right down. And so there's a cam in there that starts to go bad, and that's usually the issue. Now, there's two ways we can fix this. And let's see if we can see it. You're supposed to measure the gap all the way around, and if the gap is even all the way around, then we can just get a little one or two dollar cam mechanism and uh, fix it but if it's not even all the way around then we have to replace this piece right here um, the light inside there is separate and I think I think this is about forty dollars for the whole piece or two dollars for the cam mechanism so on this vehicle we're gonna replace the whole piece but I also have a cam mechanism so I'll show you how to fix it both ways now the first thing we need to do, pop these lens covers off. I'm just going to use a little plastic trim piece. I'm going to try to get in right here without damaging it and see if I can pop it out. Sometimes they're a little difficult and they don't want to cooperate, especially with this trim piece or this trim tool. Like that and then we can pop it out from the other direction. This one's being difficult. Oops, there we go, it's out. And if you can see, it just has tabs right there on the front and the back, and they just clip right in there. So you just have to pry gently right back here and right over here. Just pry one side, then the other, and they usually pop out. They usually come out a lot easier than that. But, uh, but now we'll get the other one. And that's how they come out. And the mechanism to turn this light on and off. It's just that little, it's that little button right there. All right, now with it opened up, you can see we got two bolts right there, one right there and one right there. And if you notice, those are just standard bolts. They don't have a screw head on them. And then we got one bolt. If you can see where my finger is, we got one that light it cooperate. We got one right there and then one right there and you can see those have a screw head also so we got to pop these four bolts out okay all four of them are eight millimeter so i'm just going to take an eight millimeter socket i'm just going to go up there and take them all out if i can see it so yeah we'll just pop them out like this and that's what the two behind the sunglass holder look like And that's what the two look like behind the light. And once we got all four bolts out, you can see it's loose. Now we can just kind of maneuver it around and get it to drop down. And we should have two connectors back there because this one has a map light. And there's our two connectors right there. So we just got to unplug that one and then the one to the light. So the one over here is going to be to the little courtesy map light that shines down. And the other one's going to be for the two lights. So I'll unplug those and we'll pull this whole assembly out. And you can see here's the whole thing out. Now this piece right here, of course I'm not going to be able to, can I grab it one hand? Yeah, it just kind of just sits in there. Lightly snaps in there I should say. But this whole piece for the light pops out. So we can just leave this aside and then we're just going to take this over to the bench. Alright, here's our old piece right here. I don't know if you can see in there, right there, can I get a good angle? Right here, come on. Right here, that's the little cam mechanism right there that rides inside there that locks it and unlocks it. And looking at the other side, it latches right there. And I don't know if you can see that the plastic is dinged up right here. And so a lot of times what happens is that's, that's the part that fails. It's the plastic right inside there, right here that fails and not the cam mechanism itself. They both can fail. 
So you got to kind of look at your piece and see what's wrong. But a lot of times you can tell because it'll sit lower. I don't know if you can see that, but it's sitting down lower than when it, where it should. It should be up a little bit higher. So that's another good little indication. That's why we're replacing the whole thing. Like I said, I think this was around $39 or $40. And here's the part right here. You can see we got our genuine Honda part. I don't know if you can see. See how flush that is right there? Then we push it and you can see our plastic looks obviously perfect and intact and it works perfectly. So we can go ahead and get this one in the vehicle. And there's the part number for the whole assembly. Okay, as you can see I have both parts side by side and they look identical but I want to point out here's the real reason why I bought this whole unit. I want to show you the two right here where the cam mechanisms are. Can you see that on the new one they have these uh, elongated holes right here where this one doesn't have them and so this allows for a beefier mechanism I don't know if you can see you can see the tangs on that new one and then look at the tangs on the old one right there they're much smaller and thinner and so that was the weak part that was where they were breaking and so here's the new part right here Let me get it out and yeah, I don't know if you can see, it also has really beefy tangs there. If I could get it on there, you can see that. And so there's no physical way that it's going to fit in there. It just won't happen. And so you can smash all you want and all you do is break these off. So if you have an older style of this, you either have to try to find, you know, a cam mechanism that's the old version, which I don't know that you can do that anymore. Or you just buy the whole mechanism. Now many of these, because there was a service bulletin years ago because they were breaking off, that's why they redesigned this. Many of these have already been replaced. So if you look, if you pop yours down and if you look, if you see those openings right there, you know that the new this part will fit. Obviously, if it looks like that, the new part's not going to fit and you'll want to just buy the whole assembly. So that is an issue that uh, you, you may run into. Now here's the part number for the updated cam piece right here. You can see there's the number right there. If you can read it. And you can see this one ends in a 2. The original part that was um, superseded by this part ended in a 1. So it's Alpha 01. So don't be surprised if you order Alpha 01. Don't be surprised if you get this part because this is the new updated part that was um, that superseded the old one. So you can look around and maybe you'll get lucky and find the old part, but most likely if you order it, you're going to get the updated part. So if you have the old, you have the old uh, complete assembly, it's not going to work. And of course, if you want to re replace this, you can just turn it until these pieces line up with the uh, larger openings and it'll pop right out. Take the new one, pop it in the same way and turn it. Very simple. All right, let's get this back in the car. All right, we take our light assembly, we can just drop it into place and it kind of pops in. There's some tabs on each side that hold it in. And now we can uh, just plug it back in, put the screws in. We'll plug this in here. We just got to be careful because we, we can push this right out. So I'm holding this in the back too. And that one's snapped in. We make sure they're both snapped in. And we can get it up into place. Now we just got to put our four screws in. Actually, I should say four bolts. Now we got to make sure the one with the screw head, those go in the front here. We'll get them all started by hand.
we'll just get them gently snugged up. There we go. Good as new. All right, we'll put our plastic lenses back over. They just snap in. We gotta be careful we don't wanna break them. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed how I replaced these broken uh, sunglass holders. And you just gotta be aware. If you have an old design, with the um, improved design, they might not work together. So, something to be aware of. But hey, as always, if you enjoyed the video or helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.